everyone welcome back to another video in this video we are going to discuss about skewness but what does skewness actually mean let us understand that first down below you see three different distributions three different sets of data plotted and they all look similar and yet very different we see all these have some peak and they are spread with tails however in this case the tail on the right however in this case however in this case we see that the tail is on the tail on both the sides looks very equal in this case we see that tail on the left side is quite long and in the next one we see that tail on the right side is very long so these distribution are same and yet different we see that this distribution is symmetric however these two are not this is what skewness means skewness means lack of symmetricity in the data when it is plotted in the first one we see that it is symmetric in this case we can say that mean and mode both lie together at this point in the next one we see that mode mode corresponds to the maximum frequency as we know so the maximum frequency mode occurs here and mean will somewhere lie maybe here so in this case the value of mean is less than the value of mode hence we say that the distribution is negatively skewed with a tail on the left side the next one we see that mode is comes over here and mean will lie somewhere here hence we see that mode is smaller than mean and the data is known to be positively skewed and having a tail on the right side now we will discuss some of the most commonly used measures of skewness the first one is carl pearson coefficient carl pearson coefficient is calculated as mean minus mode upon sigma where sigma is nothing but the standard deviation the value of carl pearson coefficient lies between minus 3 to 3 now let us understand in what case the data will be positively skewed negatively skewed and symmetric so in the cases where the value of carl pearson coefficient is negative it will simply imply that mean will be less than mode as as evident from the formula so whenever mean will be less than mode then the value of carl pearson coefficient is going to be negative and the data is negatively skewed when mean will be equal to mode the data is symmetric and the value of carl pearson coefficient will be zero and hence we say that the data is going to be symmetric the data will be positively skewed if mean will be greater than mode also the carl pearson coefficient will have a positive value next up we are going to discuss bowley's coefficient of skewness <coughs> Bowley's coefficient of skewness is calculated as 
Q3, which is the third quartile minus second quartile, minus the second quartile, minus the first quartile. Now we are going to discuss about Bolli's coefficient of skewness, which is calculated using first quartile, second quartile, and third quartile using this particular formula. The value of Bolli's, Bolli's coefficient of skewness lies between minus 1 to 1. Now it will be positively skewed for all the positive values of the coefficient and in such case we will observe that the second quartile is equal to the first quartile which will set the value of the coefficient to be equal to positive and hence the distribution will be positively skewed and in case of negatively skewed the second quartile value will be equal to the third quartile value. Now let's discuss another very important measure of skewness which is beta 1 value which uses moments. We will discuss about moments in detail later. However, let me introduce you to the formula. So, the first moment is calculated as 1 upon n summation of fi into xi minus x bar to the power 1. Similarly, the second moment will be mu 2 which will remain same however the power will become 2 and so on and so forth we calculate different central moments. So using this formula, beta 1 is calculated and its value always lies between minus 1 to 1. So it will be negatively skewed for all the negative values of beta 1, positively skewed for all the positive values of beta 1 and symmetric in case beta 1 is 0. A very important note is something you can always remember and can be asked directly in the exams is that all the measures of skewness that we discussed above are independent of change of scale as well as origin. So this is very important and it can be directly asked in the exam. That's all for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask it in the comment section. Thank you for watching.